Hey, bud. Nice of you to show hey, up. Hey, buddy. You parked us out here in the mud bogs. Dude, we're uh, about one click away from being off the racetrack. Yeah. All right, so we have made it out to Orlando Speed World. We got World Street Nationals. Yes. We had World Cup Finals. Now we're at World Street Nationals. Race Ultra Street. Uh, we weren't going to try to get a qualifier in, but it looks like they're still not done. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing ready, get it up to the lanes, make us a nice hit tonight. and I was like, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> and even when I was unloading and going through tech, I'm like, I really am in the wrong place. Nah, dude, you'll be fine. What There's are you... some fast cars. So what are you racing this weekend? Heavy Street. Heavy Street. And the fastest, I think it was a Nova, went 440. It's pretty fast. Way faster than I've ever been. He went like 177. So did, you, did you put an eighth mile gear in that thing or what? No. No? All right. I know. I should have. I should have borrowed the gear that quarter that. mile gear yeah. probably would have been better than my what do you got in there 355 that would have definitely helped yeah that yeah. quarter mile gear would have been better in this yeah. car 389 would definitely help so we got two pewter camaros out here this weekend yeah so cooper's car is actually out here this time for the people commenting man they think that's my car. as well as gonzo's camaro if anybody thinks that's my car they have serious eye <laughs> issues <laughs> i mean they're the same color that's about it <laughs> that thing's beautiful that is a nice car you bought that thing brand new this thing yeah. had three hundred thousand miles I on it i think that it. thing has less than thirty thousand miles on it i, I forget what he says 000. yeah well i got the tune up loaded in that so we're just waiting for him to call us up we're gonna make a hit try to go mid 450 or so uh looking at the qualifying ladder from q1 the top like eight cars have already been into the 50s one in the 40s so it's gonna be a fast weekend so we got five preloaded tune-ups on there. We'll probably start with number three, I think. Um, that should net us upper 50, get us in the field, and then tomorrow we'll play with a little bit more and just chip away at it. play a little bit safe on this one just get down the track my, my mind and my body are telling me two different things but i think we're going to just play it safe it's a little dewy out but we'll uh we'll set it down probably low 60 high 50 on this pass
guys. Got our data log from that run. It's kind of weird that it came unstuck out there. All the nitrous was all the way in and tire was planted. So I have to look at the video, maybe see if the tire was balled up. It wasn't a super hot tune. Um, it was only a 112 to the 60 foot, so we weren't trying to kill it. I uh, definitely expected it to go down, especially as far as it took it. But there's some kind of weird anomalies going on there. So I'm gonna dissect the data log. We'll come back in the morning. It's a little, little less dewy out. See what we can do tomorrow. We're sitting number 16th. There's only 16 cars here, so we'll be in the field no matter what, but we definitely want to improve on that. Get on the right side of the ladder, so we're going to try and do that tomorrow. Think, bud. It was uh, definitely trying to do something. It looked good until it didn't, you know? Yeah, but, that's usually how they go. Yeah. I'll, I haven't seen the video. I don't know what the tire did, but I'm going to assume it balled the tire up just looking at this. And just it got mad. Yeah. Got basketball. mad when the tire was coming. Yeah, basketball. Well, it was, all, it was already all the way in. The AMS was at 100%, so... And it was at 100% for a little well, bit. Well, at least we know it took the, the hit. Yeah. Yeah, it took that on the hit. We'll see what the weather does tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be like. But Probably going to get warm in the morning. Super dewy. I mean, you could have got water on the tire from the car. The car was covered in water. Yeah, so. it was. I mean, look at it. Still yeah, it's, you couldn't even see. I'm, I'm kind of glad because, honestly, like, you couldn't oh, even see Oh, the second I decked it, it just instantly yeah, fogged so the windshield back up. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. All right, guys. We're going to head to the hotel. Actually, we might stop and grab some food first. Then hit the hotel. Uh, I'll look over some data some more, look over the video, see what it did. I think it just balled the tire up. It actually might have wanted more power. The track had a lot of bite in it. Um, I was kind of questioning where I was at. It was actually pulling it back a little bit more, but I'm glad it didn't. Um, and like I said, everything happens for a reason. You couldn't even really see where it was going, so I'm kind of glad it did it. But we're going to head to the hotel and uh, look over some data. It's going to end it off for day one over here at World Street National. So I appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next episode.